Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolki, here having to be very quiet because someone's sleeping just super close to me. So I'm going to be a little bit lower tempo for this video. And today we're going to be doing a Dragalia video where I'm going to summon on the brand new summon showcase for Lazari and this bunny I can't pronounce, Gabunny and Krenny, who are sisters. Um, so if you saw my video album last time where I discussed what they did, you can see that for a more in-depth review. But basically, this is who we're going for right here. It's Gobney and Gredney because of this ability right here, Water Skill Recharge 1. Uh, it turns into 2 when you um, max unbind them, but basically it fills 25% of the skill gauge, skill gauge after using that skill. Not to be confused with skill haste, which is something completely different. Um, this dragon seems nuts. It makes them... Um, without going into very specifics, just know that it makes units like Gala Ellie who is the main unit you would want to use this one at this moment, but she could in the future probably be used for other units, but she's not limited. The only reason I'm summoning is because I have a lot of stuff, and I figure, hey, I'll make a video out of it, but I'm not going to do much. Let's go into it. But yeah, uh, funny thing is, is that uh, I said Lerp was feeling, oh, you know, this is how I feel about the bunny at this moment. Uh, and then he woke up and was immediately like, I screwed up, I was half tired, and I misread the bunny, what the bunny does. I think I'm gonna summon now. So, I knew at that point, I was like, well, I'm gonna summon as well, because I have Gala Ellie. And currently, I mainly use Hunter Cerise, but, um, you know, if I ever want to use another water unit, it's good to have a, one of a water dragon. I don't need dupes, I don't need anything crazy like that. And of course, if I get Lazari, that, that works too. I, would, I wouldn't mind either, to be honest. There's a bunch of units currently in the banner that I wouldn't mind getting. Uh, and that's mainly because I don't summon on anything but limited banners. Which, funny enough, that's why a lot of people... This is why this banner exists. It's bait before fireable heroes. If you are super low on resources, wait to summon. That's just going to be the easiest way. <laughs> Especially since, like, unless they release a water Gito. Which there's a chance that they might. Uh, there's no real reason to have this much power for water, especially considering uh, that Hybrun Helda is so easy already. <laughs> but hey. Um, again, always proceed with caution. As you can see here, I have 55 tickets. So what I'm going to start doing is start doing single tickets and then. Um, ooh, hello, weddings on you. And then once my pity is high enough, I'll actually start using some of my multi tickets. But I'm not going to touch any of my Wormite. Um, it's all going to be basically tickets, and I don't know how long I'm going to go. I'm going to go for either maybe my either one pity, or if I get the unit super early. How about that? Uh, I don't expect to get anything, by the way, because sometimes Dragalia can be very cool. Uh, as you can see from the fact that they released this banner before Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, so if you super care about Fire Emblem Heroes, I would wait, especially since the Mana Spiral for all those Fire Emblem units should make them crazy. I actually have a video with Mark. I'm not the greatest sword unit. As some people have said, I need to force strike a little bit more, which I'll work on. Um, but you can check out that video if you want to see how currently Marth is. Someone in the comments says is that they use Marth for soloing expert uh, HMS, and it's faster to use Marth than Uidin because of his... Um, some of the things he does. Um, it's just that Yudin has more um, universal appeal to everyone. Also, he's not super limited. <laughs> There's also that factor in for him, for sure. Um, I'd also like to report that Sorin from Trash Alliance, the dude who was 100% saying, this is basically a must-have for me because I'm a Gala Ellie main, was able to get the dragon and a uh, single ticket. So, good job, dude. If you're saying this, good job. I should also mention, if you're this far into the video, you should leave a like if you end up liking this video. <laughs> I always forget to say that, but... Um, and the reason I say that is because it helps the channel grow, it shows support, and if you don't, apparently if you don't ask, people just don't leave it. I don't know. I definitely forget sometimes. I think everyone's human. Everyone enjoys what people do, and sometimes you just kind of forget about, you know, hey. Uh, you don't know that this tiny little thing that a person does actually helps that person out a whole bunch. It's hard to imagine, like, such a small, dumb little thing, like, oh, leaving a like. It's funny because, like, a lot of people make fun of it, and, you know, for fair enough, because it can get very annoying. Hell, I don't like the fact that I have to I say it so much. Um, 
but without it, there's no real way to grow. So, hey, what can we do? Aw, oh, damn it, not the right dragon. Also, the, by the way, the reason I'm doing this is to increase pity rate if you don't know. It's kind of what I assume a lot of people do, because it helps save on overall tickets at the, in the long run of things. There's no reason to use your- Oh, this is the new guy! Ah, oh, damn it, I skipped him. Gold. Let me see. Beef McLarge huge over here. He's humongous. What do you do, Gold? Chaotic Fissure. Frostbite, huh? Hmm. Wow. Huh. Okay. Stun resistance. Hmm. Hmm. That stun resistance is kind of a bummer, because currently nothing, unless the Aguido changes thing, there's no reason to have stun resistance. Oh no, that's actually a lie for Void Agni, which is one of the most annoying um, void battles to just like auto yourself, I guess. Um, it helps to have units that can't be stunned. There's definitely a use for units with stun resistance, it's just like none of them are used in HBH for the most part, because that's all fire stuff, so no real reason to use it. Alright, I think after this I'm going to start using the multis. Actually, maybe one more go around. How dare you send it to Gunnies. Okay, let's see. Eee, not the greatest. So we're going to keep on going with the single tickets. Ten more at least. I'll just start skipping some of these, just to make things go faster. Um, yeah, it's actually been a very long time since I've summoned on a normal banner. I usually don't do it. Um, mainly because I like to save in Dragalia to get all the limited units, but it does mean I miss out on a lot of units that are, like, general to the pool, but I think that ends up working out for me in the long run, because I actually get excited, as opposed to angry when I see them in a summon, um, which I think is good. I don't want to grow resentment towards... I don't need to have every unit, because I only ever use, like, um, five for an element that I personally use, and then for the actual team, it's even less than that. Oh, it's him again. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, there's no real reason to chase. At least I don't think so. Unless you're super into the meta, in which case, go by god. But that can get- I think that sounds like you can get super expensive. Because a lot of good units get released. And then also the mana spiral units that make them insane. Uh, so I don't know, it feels like a losing gambit to me. Let's see. Oh, Zanya. Love, love me some Zanya. I would love a 5 Zanya at some point. That or a Mana Spiral Wedding Zanya, so I can have all Zanyas all the time. Uh, Zanya, of course, is, is really good for because of her Mana Spiral. That's one of the buffs I was talking about. So this 3... My best fire unit is a random 3-1 three, <laughs> three wand user from the very beginning of the game. So, I don't know. It pays off, I think. To kind of just wait wait for your stuff. I said I would start skipping and then I forget, man. I can't talk and do stuff at the same time. Let's see what we got. We should get 5.5? Yeah. Hmm. We're almost at Gallop Banner Raids. Smith the Arm. Smith the Arm? Smith the Arm engage. Alright, let's go here. Let's go. Ten more. That should be enough. And then from there I'll start using actual multi-tickets. Yeah. Doesn't look like anything to me, which is very important when I'm choosing the summon or not. Mm, nothing. Alright. But yeah, if you summoned on this banner, tell me, man. I would like to hear about it. Ooh, wait, bunch of doves. I'm gonna see if that means anything. It didn't. Oh, it's you, dude. What's up? Nice to see you again. I got a lot of him. Hopefully, that means when we get the five, I can get it pretty easy. Let's hope, huh? Doves? Could turn into a five. It didn't, though. It's him again! <laughs> okay, so apparently a bunch of doves flying in the beginning just means that you have featured unit. Nothing. Oh, wait. Okay, we're almost there. Then we're gonna start using actual multi summons. Nothing. Alright. Starting from here, we're going to start using some actual multi-summons. 
from right here. Okay. Oh, man, it's a long road. I can't believe I fucking skipped it. What was the chances of we coming at the end? I didn't think it would come at the end. I just put this fucking money in animation. <laughs> Huh. I'm sorry. That would have been a real. I did. <laughs> I honestly didn't think that the money would show up. <laughs> All right, everyone. That's the end of this video. I got what I want. What I came for. Remember, if you like this video, leave a like. Tell me your results if you were able to get it. If you summoned. If you're still waiting for fee. Any of that stuff. And until next time, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Get to the happy summoning, and I'll see you in the next one. I, there you go. I'll protect you. Smith, the arm, engage. I'll let, at least let the bunny end it for us. Speak. I'll get your weapons fifth in the gym.